Hey there, and welcome back to Trainwreck, an educational monster train series where you watch me struggle at around 200 pack shards. Today's a weird recording day because I intended actually to start recording earlier. It's like 4 p.m. right now, 4.40 technically, pretty late in the day. My goal here was actually to start recording at like noon, but I had to replace, get this, I had to replace and clean the crystal quartz sleeve on the UV light system for like antibacterial system for my water pump. And it was, I, that's extremely specific. Look, I know, I totally get it. It's, it's very nuanced. Like, okay, this one specific part of this one specific part of this big machine that is buried somewhere in my house. And it was a whole ordeal and I managed to get it working, but it threw my day all off. So here I am much later having figured all that out and ready to play some train wreck. So wild. What a wild thing to do. I'm not even done with the home chores. I have to do some air filter replacements today, too. Bloody hell. Ah, but it's all good. No worries. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Let's see, what were we doing? I think it actually was Echo right here, yeah? We are on a 46 win streak, as it were. Still not sure if I want to stick with that. I'm waiting to hear some feedback on it, but... Uh, but yeah, for now, it's a 46 win streak. We had a draft double multi-strike bounty stalker carrying the run pretty hard with Marsh Lord, which performed better, I suppose, than Trample Penumbra. Pretty universally true if you go all in, but definitely true here. Uh, cleaning some things up upstairs, I was just throwing random consumes at him. A pretty tight deck. We had a good resin removal here and there. I'm pretty sure that saved us against Crystal Cloak. And then just generally lots of reform to make it play well. I'm always happy for a killer rare unit to come in and kind of save the day on a clan combo with a bad champion. Or a champion I don't like as much. Something like Echo Right, yeah, I'm happy for that to be carried by Bounty Stalker. Similar for things like, I don't know, Tethys or whatever. Those just real struggle fiestas where I'm like, I don't know, give me Morsel Maid or something and I'll just be happy here. But you can't always count on it, obviously. Anyway, it looks like we're cycling around here, finally back on the default champions. I definitely like them less than the Exiles in hindsight, having played a trillion hours of this game. But uh, that said, I think it's fine. I'm fine with Prince, no big deal. So, reminder to myself that this is train wreck. Here I am playing 200 shards again, and let's get in on it. So, as always, do like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And now I'm going to click the button, so let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Make sure it's correct. Da 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 da. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Make sure my audio is being captured after I've already clicked the button. Good grief. I should really do that sooner. We're all good. All right, excellent news. Hope you're all having a good one. I told you about my day. It's good, but dang, it's good, but dang. That's really where I'm at, so. I'm ready to get into a little bit of this. We'll see if I can even do two episodes. I guess it'll depend on how bad this episode is, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I can get a second one in today and finish out the week, so. Anyway, today we are default Hellhorned, default Umbra. So we have Shade Splitters. We're facing Pushback, Talos, Cursefell, and Sap Seraph with Fortify, Prismal Dust, Impish Scholar. Prismal Dust, Impish Scholar, pretty solid. Generally, I like to see these cards. Fortify is nice in the early game. It's much better if I can get a lot of card draw, but it's kind of hard to do in this clan combo. We'll see what we can do. I don't mind any of these cards, but none of them are terribly formative. The one nice thing about Prismal Dust, though, and I'll say that as I'm clicking through this, is just that it's always good to have one. Obviously, there are some times where I'm like, okay, I need to pick this better card, like Immortal Trade or Perils of Production or whatever, but it's always nice to have one. Just be like, yeah, save my dude. Give him Intrinsic and just save my champion or something. Anyway, let's see. We have Temples on 2, 3, 4, 7, and 8. So 5 Temple Run is always excellent. Happy to see it. Means I have a lot of play in the way I handle my shards, which is better than some of the recent episodes where I was getting 3s, right? 3 Temples back to back, I think. Yeah. We have a removal dupe magic side on eight. That's huge. A good steel shop on seven. 
This trinket shop is a little unfortunate. No money anywhere to be seen. It's got some pyre health. This is pretty unimpressive. Unless I have literally all my steel shop stuff handled already, and I might skip this one then, but we'll see. Pretty good magic shop on six with caverns and a horde. Competes. This is a better trinket shop, even though it has money and health, because the money trinket shop is better. It's pretty rare to see double trinket shops back to back like this, though. I wonder what that's replacing in the node generation. Noticing the lack of a steel on six. Let's see. Well, I guess there's no steel on three, it looks like. Yeah, so that's fine. Not too bad. Pretty good spread otherwise, though. I'm happy to see that at least. Second dupe on five. It's not great, but it at least has a caverns. Competes with a really good steel shop, though. There's that. Another steel on four, but there's a removal dupe and hellhorn banner on four with a temple. We could do some serious damage here if I have some good stuff squared away. Now, sadly, I won't have the steel shops to perfectly set it up early because I only have the one, but maybe I get lucky. Double magics early. We have Umbra on steel side on two. Note that that's not great. Looking for a unit draft then. Hellhorn banner on magic side. I... None of my cards are great for magic shops. Maybe I'll see a perils or something to go with brawler. That would be a pretty solid setup. We'll see. We'll see what we get. Fossilized fangs is... Man, it's tough. Most of the doubler relics are really good, but this one is just not great. Think about this. This is Crucible Warden Collector. I mean, this is good if I had... Shadow Eater, I guess? Shadow Eater Alpha Fiend would be really sick with this, but I can't call the shot like that because both of those units are just terrible on their own. <sighs> I don't love that. I guess you could do something like Crucible Warden in front of Prince up top, but you'd have to solve the Morsel problem then, which I don't like calling this early. It's not great. I think I'm just going to take Guild Marker and be happy with it. This is just a generally great starting relic, even if it doesn't do anything. It's not like Fossilized Fangs does anything here either, so whatever. Brawler Reaper, let's click Brawler. This is not a great opener, but note what I'm going to have to do is feed Morsels to Brawler and let him face tank a bit. We are going to take ugh, this Horde. I don't love that. I have to kill a 9 by 2 it is possible. I guess I could tank. I should click this. Gurg's Goat is actually just gigantic. I just need to click that. Snap click. Hell's Banners, Refracting Lens, those are all solid, but you have to click something like this. Now it's really big motivation to go to that Hellhorn Banner, because I just literally found Multi-Strike, which is great. Mark of Invasion. I cannot click this. This is an important one to take away with. You can't click this because Prince probably dies. And I need him to actually eat these morsels. And we're not looking great into this combat right now. Especially with that foot soldier. Good grief. Okay. I mean, I will take this. We'll take that little friend of a hell, that Hornbreaker Prince buddy. I'm going to drop a train steward middle, I suppose. Just get it out of there. It's fine. Okay, single torch. I really got to work on these guys. We're going to give me some damage, please. Yikes. It's okay. Give me a torch? Okay, we get a torch. I avoid immediately perishing. We're gonna just drop a whole bunch of stuff here. Train steward down. Probably leaking this 5-1. I think it's all my torches. I mean, maybe there's one more. Hey, wow, incredible. Let's go. Let's go. I could leak this, but I really shouldn't. Let's do this. Be shade splitter here. I'll take that lifesteal morsel. If I play this train steward, I save two health so i will yeah i just now i need to see a torch hey look we did it all right great job go team cool all right i like to see that i guess here's an imp that doesn't do anything we'll kill it we should get through this look it's not pretty but we take it here have some damage shield <laughs> this is low damage but it gets through this combat at least so we take that got to be the ritual here, right? It just has to be. It also improves my magic shop, which I am 2,000% going to. As much as I like this welder helper, it's got to be the ritual here. Ooh. Mine collapsed. It's a ping, but it means a better ping than torch, at least. Huh, I don't love it. It's pretty good. I have prismal dust. We're okay. Should I take packed morsels in case I have to take one? 
By the way, think back on this combat and consider how dead I would be if I had taken that trial. Woof. We would either, either have lost Prince, or worse, lost the run. Or both, probably. So we're going to this Hellhorn banner? I should grab this Packed Morsels, because I can... Well, I don't know. You never know. This is pretty low impact. It's a good card. It's okay card. I might just throw it away later. It's not amazing. I'm struggling a little bit with this because you wanna you don't want to grab this unless you really anticipate taking Umber cards, and I don't think so. With the Gurg's Goat, I'm pretty sure anything from Hellhorn is just gonna be better. So I'm pretty sure we just take a better ping here because I'd like to do that. I can 20 consume some torches and I can just 10 in piercing the mind collapse or whatever. I think it's gotta be that. Yeah. I'll take it. We are going magic side for sure. It's gonna be minus one, minus one almost certainly. Oh, buddy. Baby, baby, Horned Warrior hitting three times. Now, of course, the problem is I don't have a front line, but we can fix that. We can fix that. Give me this Horned Warrior. He's great. He's better than Branded Warrior, that's for sure. Okay, that does suck a little bit into... What's it called? This next boss. <laughs> Buy a minus one. Hold up. Back out. Give me a minus two? No. Sad. It's okay. Intrinsic Prismal Dust. Should I take that now? Good for later. Spell chain? I don't think there's a good spell chain here. No. I, mm, I, sh I mean, it's not great at the moment, but it might do something. I do think we have to do the things that need to be done. So minus one, minus one ritual is kind of just critical right here. So there's that. I think I am going to take this 20 consume on a torch right away because I can afford to thanks to the guild marker. Yeah, I don't care about permafrost. I'll tell another minus one in ritual here. Well, alternatively, I could save for a minus two, possibly, and go magic stop here. Magic shop. I almost said magic slop, which is funny, but not what I wanted to say. Hmm. I should take this minus one. But I'm going to save the slot on this ritual. We'll put the minus one into a prismal dust, and I will toss the intrinsic at that. That's a pretty comfortable way to set up my run. Guaranteed to survive the first turn. That spell chain's not it. We'll move on. Thank you, guild marker. Very cool. I want this unit draft. So here's what we do. We're going to face tank with Prince, and then I'm going to intrinsic prismal dust the heck out of my back guy here. So, oh, gross. Wow, that's terrible. That upgrade. I guess I didn't really consider that, but, you know, fair enough. We're going to do the shade splitter because I do think it matters. Prince, I'll take Prince here. I should pop one of these guys, I'm pretty sure. It's worth it. And then one goes in the back here. We, we are taking a bunch of damage here. Don't love it. We kill everything, which is at least something good. I think it's got to be Train Steward Middle to get the Collector. That's for sure. We're going to armor the front. We don't really do anything here, right? Yeah, that's true. None of this does anything. No, fair enough. Fine. I'll take a bunch of hits here. I think I will Impish Scholar up front. We get back the Prismal Dust, which is great, actually. And... Let's see. I want to take the 5-5. Five, five. I could save this, but I really think the angle here is just 3 damage shield in the back is the way to go. Right? Yeah, I think it's got to be that. Prepare for the Relentless here. We take one. I'm okay with that. Yeah, and then you just armor the back. We toss a Ritual at this. We get maybe, I don't know, damage shield. HP's fine. Sure. I think we do get this. Yeah, it's not pretty, but we take these. Just toss three damage shield to the back. He gets through it off the back of seven damage shield. It's enough. Yeah, he does fine. Okay. Take one, get the trial. I'm happy with that. Another ritual. I think it's actually got to be vent here. It's a really good plus 30. I don't need another ritual. I'm poised to have one upgraded already. 
And Molting Imp is not it. We'll take the Bend. Arrows, I should grab it. I'm going to a magic shop. It's possible I see the holdover and we hit. We'll take it. Apex Imp. Well, I mean, I didn't need this Mr. Monster train, but I appreciate it all the same. It's going to be Apex Imp, right? There's no way I don't do this. Good grief. He's just better. Now I need, I also have fortifies. Yeah, duh, obviously. I mean, Morsel Maid's also here. Huge, by the way. You could do Morsel Maid, for the record, let me just talk about this. I could infuse Morsel Maid into the Horned Warrior, and that thing wins, by the way. That wins. That hits three times, has all of Morsel Maid's abilities, and it's just rules. We go left, for sure. Like, that wins, for the record. Give me a minus two. No, not today. And then piercing. Hmm. Well, it's good. I like it. It's in this Umbra banner. I'm going to sell that. That's disgusting. I don't want the morsel friends. Okay, so no minus two. That does mean I'm going to minus one, minus one the ritual. That's just going to happen. That's fine. I can re-roll this, and there is a chance I can afford something here, potentially. Good. We should... If I see an X5, it goes on to this ritual so we just should look now before I flip this right so I have an endless now endless imp I don't think so rail spikes is that it I could 20 consume the rail spike that gets consumed eventually anyway it's a pretty good ping there's a tendon piercing in the shop as well it's a pretty good bomb actually this is actually a pretty darn good rail spike, yeah? Yeah, that's actually a really good rail spike. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love this for me. Check what we're gonna do. We tenon piercing the rail spike here. Excellent news. We then... 20 consume the rail spike. This is fine, for the record, because it will gain consume anyway, you know? Uh, it gets those. And this means it copies a plus 30 ping. I would take a lot of these cards. This, these kill, like a plus 30 piercing ping, that kills a lot of very scary stuff. Like you throw away your mind collapse because this rail spikes is really good. That's <laughs> probably one of the rare times I look at this and go, this is huge. Yeah, I mean, this is great. You could spell chain this too, but then it's just 10 and 10, and it's kind of weird. Obviously, the X cost part of this is an interesting element, but we're not gonna, we're gonna play to like zero or something most of the time. Yeah, give me this, that's good. Okay. Spell chain now. I could consider other things, but really it's just spell chain the fortify, honestly. That's really good. And then infusion wise, can I get away with the Horned Warrior? It's possible, but I don't think it's great. And I want to hold off on this. I can avoid a little bit of the shard count here. Sadly, if I reroll, I couldn't see a holdover that I can use. It's only 60 gold, which is not enough. So we'll, we'll chill. Unless I want a minus one somewhere. I don't think I do. I would take a 20 consume, I believe. They showed it to me. What else would I take? Well, minus ones are not that impressive. They're not bad. Should I spell chain the perils? No, 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 no. I spell chained a, a better card. Duh. Yeah, I was looking at it and I was like, did I click that? Of course I did. We're fine. I'm 100% paying attention. Anyway, let's start this combat. I am going to yeet Horned Warrior to a lower floor. I don't think he's my line now that I've seen Apex Friend. Yeah, we move on. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Now that we have the Apex Friend, we're okay. All right. Shade Splitter. Yeah, Prince gets that. Cool. Seems good. But you could make an argument that maybe is better into Horned Warrior here, but I don't think that's a true statement. Here's a Rubble Morsel, which I'm going to put into Horned Warrior. I'm going to toss this guy a damage shield here. Reason being, I really want him to swing a bunch. He's really good for these floors. Like, he just... Oh, he actually just perishes right now because he takes seven. 
pretty exactly. We can save him. We take both morsels here. This is pushback? Yeah, so he has armor, of course. We take damage shield upstairs. Actually, damage shield bottom tanks this whole thing. Yeah, that's really good. Then he swings 40. Excellent. Then we do Apex Imp. We toss him some armor and we're chilling. I do have to be careful about the pushback here, which comes up. Blast a dude, which is great. I actually have a kill on all three enemy, all frontline enemies here, which is kind of neat. I should. Just kill this guy, right? This is what, 30 plus 30 piercing right now, which is really good. I pop the back, he lives. So I think I pop the back down here, although I guess I could stop the five. Ooh, this is a tough turn, because I'd also love to play Ritual here. I need to protect the top floor, but I need to... I see what the line is. So we torch one out middle to protect Horned Warrior, and then he 45s into this dude. I could even get him a kill, but I don't want to invest that. I want to put that upstairs. I cannot stop the pushback, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. He gets thwanged here. I can stop some of this. The first action is always... Ping one dude. Got it. Stop the five coming in. That's good. Then I need to put Ritual somewhere. I'm going to finish with the Rail Spike on middle here to save Horned Warrior. Let's... Let's buff Apex Imp. I think this is correct. Shame I didn't get a single morsel on this turn to tank this, or I would have blasted twice upstairs and taken the morsel and given up Horned Warrior. But this will have to do. We're very flimsy right now is the problem. No defensive unit, note that. So we gotta be careful. I don't think it, the only downside to spreading my rage out here is that they scale down at the same amount. But I think it is worth it to do this because he gets pushed back and then Punches numbers through to the boss, which I really appreciate. Don't do anything here yet. This torch really doesn't add a lot, so we're just going to thwang the boss. I think that's fine. And then we zero cost it on middle, which spawns one, and he gets the swing, which is fine. Okay. Now, I don't think I can save our friend here. It's a shame, but it's okay. It is still correct to trade the two for the five here. Just super true. I guess I could... Yo, oh, incredible. He lives with one HP. Absolutely incredible. Great job, champ. Now, I need to get some stats on my floor. Yeah, it doesn't go back upstairs. I kind of expected as much. So the angle here is what? I need to save HP. How do I do that? First things first, I definitely have to train Steward middle to save a friend. It's just correct to do it. Now, I think I wang this guy in the back to save next turn. It's two for two, so this is fine. I've started saying that word a lot. You know, you know the word I mean. Wang. Not really sure why. Oh man, if I can hit the rail spike, this is actually huge. So I can save two up front by playing him in front. If I get the prismal dust, I want the ember. Let's let's do the impish scholar here. Hey, I got the rail spike. That's a pretty good hit. I'll just put that in. Hmm. Could also self-ping, look for a Shade Splitter, because I certainly don't need it. I will look at what the Shade Splitter is when making this decision. Okay, it's a bad one. 
it's a bad one. So now the question is just, who do I hit? Hitting anyone upstairs doesn't change anything. I'm taking damage. I'm not feeling super confident here. Let's stop some damage downstairs, I think. Make another copy. Not great, but it will do. I need some damage shield, friends. Okay, so here's an angle. We're gonna take, oh, not on that floor. Shade splitter middle, got it, excellent. We're gonna play this guy in front. Take six, excellent news. We toss this man the perils. Yeah. And then we do a five damage shield into Apex Imp and we cruise and we also get the five HP here because, or the six HP, because he lives. This is great news. What a good turn. I'm feeling great about that. And then mid floor, honestly, look at this man. He actually just kills something too. He's doing great. Just a random horned warrior. Anyway, I get another slay, which is great news. I'm happy to take that. He punches in like 25 damage or something. We should win this off the back of this, yeah? Yeah, cool. Good stuff. Cool. Now, was that enough? Do I get four of them? I kind of do, actually. I think I might actually get the upgrade right away. Is it four or five? Honestly, can't remember. Spike of the Hellhorn is really good here because it double benefits Apex Imp, right? You get two rage and two armor, which becomes it's essentially two armor, four rage per per energy. Is that even that good? I mean, at like three, it's really good. Or 12 rage for three. I mean, it's worse than a ritual of battle. I guess it pays off if I hit the perils on time, but that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it just a little bit, that's pretty bad. We're going to skip it. Kindle is an option, but I don't think it's that one here. Steelworker is busted. And I have, oh my God, Steelworker is busted. Solve the run. Let's go. We're going to take space eventually. We're just throwing away prints. For now, I take draw because I could see something else here and we're fine. Yeah, run is good. Oh, yeah, we do get the upgrade. Here we go. Yeah, see? 10 magic power and consume. So they all get sick upgrades here. And you can see they're now plus 40s and they're overflowed. So they already were going to consume, right? So adding the surge stone is just super hyper efficient. These are now 40 damage consume pierces nonsense i don't need this removal dupe do i no we're actually okay i want to see the steel shop because reasons and removal dupe is good making a second apex imp is it turns out very powerful here where are my steel shops because i may actually just make two of these guys right away oh but with no upgrades that's so depressing it's real depressing. I could dupe it at the end, and I could dupe it at five. Maybe at least I'd see a steel shop, right? I should look at a steel shop. Yeah, I really should look at a steel shop here before I just yeet out a dupe. Yeah, minus two. Finally see it a little later than I wanted. Another intrinsic. Think about that. We're going to do steel worker into Apex Imp because obviously... Note that I actually do need to put armor or HP into my dude. Oh, damage shield three. I was going to say because he's going to have to take hits from the divinity, right? Is just the universal truth of it. But damage shield three is just better than plus 25. Pretty universally. Endless. Endless impish scholar. You could cycle my bombs. It's The problem is it's not armor, right? So let's not do that. Also, you know what else is really good? Just take a plus 25 in Mr. Horned Warrior for the time being, and he contributes a lot to the mid game. I've learned this recently. If I see a large stone here, I'm not actually mad. I just buy it for Horned Warrior, and he bodies half the mid game for me. It's really efficient, actually. Yeah, okay, they give me a multi-strike instead, so I'm going to put that into Apex Imp, and we're just super happy about that. Toss a damage shield on this guy. I mean, that's great because I immediately can dupe this thing for huge value now. That's way better than what I was considering doing, for the record. Obviously, I hit a little bit, but it could have been quick, and I would have been happy. It could have been large stone, and I would have made the Horned Warrior big. I think we had a lot of choices here. What up? I'm going to pump up Horned Warrior. This guy's act... I mean, at 15 by 3 is not that impressive. If I toss him a plus 10... Oh, yeah, 75 damage is legit. That's a low investment. I'm actually happy with it. And then here, I mean, I take Wrathful for the moment because he's just a little more durable, and that's going to be good. 
for the time being. I don't, Brawler is no longer my run. We do Wrathful Pivot. Cool. It'll be a kind of tank until I can dupe, which is this next round. Where am I going? There's no shop there, so we're just going to purchase a removal on a train steward right away. Thank you, guild marker. Huge value. Basically fully paid for Horned Warrior's upgrades here. Mark of Invasion. We can take it. Yes. Good. It's not conduits. It's clipped guard. That's good. Now, what do I need to do? Horn War, I mean, Apex Imp does kind of solo this. I could play bottom floor, but I would rather wait. Yeah, so here is the deal. I'm going to accept the Ember Drain here, it looks like. Yes. Cool. And then I'm going to toss Prismal Dust in, for, uh, in back here to preserve it for later. And just play three Prismal Dust here. This is really good because he gets some slays. We get some value. We're actually cruising. I play Horned Warrior in mid floor and he just kills some stuff, which is excellent. I take a ritual upstairs because of course I do. And then we... Yeah, I mean, look at this, right? You just kill dude. Bam. And then kill dude, get money, get paid. And then he kills the Light Harnesser. It's actually just crazy good. What we're doing. Yeah, fortify. Let's go. Incredible news. Take a... I'll take a damage shield upstairs. I'm going to tank with whatever I get on middle. Good job. Fine. Yeah, he's going to die, but he is going to do just okay. Yeah, he's gone. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, my friend. That's a pretty scary mid-floor, actually. Yikes. So what we do is we... Mm, perils? Blast in the back, and we kill the back friend, and then we actually get to swing here, and then he dies. It's better, at least. Yeah, better at least. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, he dies on spikes. At least that's something. Armor in the back, excellent news. Shade splitter, take the hit, please. Thank you. Kill the floor, good. And just murder enemies, honestly. I could just blast the mid guy. It's actually better, right? Because then we get another slay. Yeah, we're just gonna send it on mid friend. Cool. Good. We're fine. Shade splitter. Play it. Harold's here. Torch this guy, I guess. It does not really matter. We get some slays here. We were looking okay. Yeah, definitely feeling good about this now. Take the damage shield here. We are fine. Click the cards because we have them. We're okay. Yeah. Great work. Go team. Some damage shield up front. We even get slays and feel good about it. Cool. All right. Not too bad. What else do we get now? Now, is Inflame worth it here? It's actually good because it's an extra armor card and I don't have any of those. So even... Apex Imp is so strong as a unit, it even makes Inflame good. That's what you should take away from this. Battering Ram is a bait, don't click it. Void Binding? It's really sick if I can take this. Steel Shop? Guess I could go. Trinket Shop? It's possible. Magic Shop could be good. If I see a Holdover? Oof, I would take it. I would use it, right? Magic magic. These steel shop, these trinket shops are not great. I don't need a steel shop here. Oh, yeah, it's dupe, then magic shop, right? I hadn't scrolled. There's a steel shop. So there's no magic shop on seven, sadly. But I am seeing the magic shop on eight. I'm gonna click this void binding because I can also do some cheeky stuff by putting a morsel in front, then void binding it, and if it lives, then it gets, you know, eaten, so it's not a big deal. We go for the dupe right away. It's super correct. Let's see if I get a up overflow. Oh, abandoned stave. That's pretty good, actually. It's actually good enough that I could freely play the void binding here. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Mr. Rising Dusk, why would you not consider calcified embers with Impish Scholar Infinite? Look, 
because I have Apex Imp. I don't care. Okay, we were winning. I don't need. To, I don't need to do the infinite here. Click the abandoned stave. Be happy. That's that's the run here. Hey, look, Apex Imp. I no longer need Prince. We're good. So I can use Prince to tank for my Horned Warrior, and we have a second floor. Incredible news. <laughs> uh, that's good. Spikes is okay because we're strong enough. Yes. This is a Prince. Yeah, Prince Horned Warrior floor. I'm gonna power up our dude. I'm just gonna drop in five damage shield here for funsies. It's solid. Okay. So we're gonna do Apex Imp alone upstairs. I'm gonna play the ritual upstairs because it's better. I do want a Vengeful Shard here. I'm gonna sack a friend for Prismal Dust, which I think really does belong in the back here. Then I bomb for money. And I bomb to save 9 HP, I believe. And this next floor is fully upgraded. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather power up now. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on this mid floor because I need to give Apex Sims time to scale. Yeah. This way we're guaranteed to clear top. No problem. Can do Shade Splitter here. Obviously it's not going to be excellent. He dies, but at least it saves some stuff. Mid floor doesn't look great. We burned some train stewards. We're fine. Cool. A lot of armor coming in now. Now we've scaled to the point where I feel like we can take this top floor, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, I mean, this is exactly what I meant. We just tank with a morsel and we're fine there. Mid floor is going to start looking pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it's not good. We do, oh, I mean, gosh, we take the mind collapse on middle. That's great. Prince at least swings. This guy, I think, dies too, Spikes. That's true. Yes. Door. Does he get a kill now? Good grief. I think he does. Maybe. He does. That's incredible. I was like, his armor went up. What happened? I would like very much to rage. Uh-huh. It's worth it. I'm going to click the inflame in front here. I'm going to... Matter who I shoot. I guess it saves some life if I shoot the front back guy, though. It does. And then I just give five damage shield up here and we're chilling. Cool. Now, the real question then becomes how do I not lose to the boss? Answer is Rubble Morsel. Use the abandoned stave Ember for a void binding here play the vengeful shard and i'm just gonna double shoot this front dude save some damage shield and i think we're gonna be okay right yeah here's some rage downstairs he is just dead and that's gonna be okay i can save a round I mean, it doesn't matter who gets the round. We'll just give it upstairs then. Yeah, it's fine. The damage shield either way. Yeah. Now, we should have enough stats here to live. Oof. It's closer than I wanted, but the Void Binding is actually huge. Cool. We're actually okay. It's I mean, it's a lot of damage shield to get through. Or stealth, rather. But we have a lot of durability here. And we do a lot of damage. So I think we, we're fine. Golden Vault. Absolutely. I'm not even spending all my money. We're at a point where I'm not leaking very much. I'm feeling good about that. Rage Serum is not amazing. Transcend Imp is not amazing. I guess it does some cheeky stuff with Impish Scholar, but I kind of don't care. We'll take the Imp in a box because they give me one Welder Helper. and I'm going to feel really good about that. I need to remove cards now, so we're just going to cut stuff. I don't need this other nonsense. You could have considered... Crucible extension, and then, my gosh, with Crucible extension, I could intrinsic that. I need to remove stuff. We're going magic side here. Yes. True. Look in the magic shop real fast. See that eternal stone? Feels a little bad. Horde in the middle. Yo, first hell pact. 
Let's talk about first Hell Pact Rail Spikes plus Mind Collapse plus Prismal Dust plus Vent. Yeah. This now, for the record, makes these into 70 damage bombs? That is outrageous. I'm, I'm tempted to dupe them now. Good grief. Unbroken Horn is good, actually, because if I ever have a turn where I'm not spending my Ember, it stacks, and I have the Abandoned Stave. It's better than the Boon here. Look at the Caverns real fast. Ugh. Trap Shoot Pulley Claw. I mean... I do want to take Pulley Claw. Okay. Yeah, it's true. I normally would take Trap Shoot there, but I think I'm actually okay with the Ember. I am going to toss a Daze removal at it or a Consume removal at it. That's pretty good. We're going to need to make some things cheaper. We're going to minus one, minus one the Inflame. Plus 10 is... Doesn't really matter where I put it. I'd actually rather save it for Golden Vault here. 20 Consumes I'll take for sure. Permafrost. You could... Uh, got some options. You've got some options here. I could... Hmm, well, I would definitely do the easy thing. Minus one the inflame. Got it. I need to buy a couple removals here because my deck is in a bad place right now. We just have too much trash. Train stewards are going to go. The morsels are better for the moment. Before I remove that last set, let's think. Two rings, 115. I'm duping a friend taking space, so I'm looking at 130. 130, I'm seeing 150. I do need an... It takes me a 180. I need an extra dupe or an infusion to not miss divinity at 200. Now, what I can and should do instead, however is I should consider Train Steward into Horned Warrior. He slows me down, but he's better for now. So what I can do is I can remove... Yeah, okay. We remove a Train Steward. We leave one in for Mr. Horned Warrior. And we're good. We're going to take a 20 consume on a torch because that's just correct. I'm considering another removal because my deck is... Uh, excuse me, 36 cards thanks to these Rail Spikes and the Vengeful Shards, which is way more than anyone wanted here. Go to this Merchant of Steel. I'm going to go to the Removal Merchant of Steel money because I can do a lot of value there. I don't, I'm not going to buy Trinkets. There's obviously you could high roll, but I think I have the pieces. So let's take a removal now on Shade Splitter. Yes, they're good, but we've got, I got to keep this last train steward is what we've determined. I, and I think Impish Scholar is better than a removal here, so we'll cut a Shade Splitter. I need to work this number down because we have too much trash. Let's move on. I don't need this permafrost for anything. Yeah. We're strong, but I also, my deck is way too huge here. Just way too much nonsense thanks to all the extra cards being added, so not good. Prince downstairs. Okay, not great, admittedly. You know, that's fine. I'm going to keep him alive. Six damage shield seems pretty decent here. He at least swings. All right, I hopefully get Horned Warrior or at least something. It's a good thing at least I have so much Ember, right? Sheesh. Horned Warrior lands. Now, he swings, which is good. This is hit, hit, some rage. He doesn't actually get rage here. Let's take a Shade Splitter upstairs. We're going to eat dirt, it looks like. All right, we're clearing the top floor at least. Fortunately, I do have Abandoned Stave to offset this disgusting number of... Oof. Everything I'm dealing with. We're just going to play the Rage Imp, and we're going to do as much as we can to these weights. And fortunately, the floor kind of scales itself. Goodbye, my 50 gold. Yikes. All right. Bad situation here. Can stop some of this by pinging an enemy, I believe. We're losing Prince, so let's give him a perils. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Let's me play everything out. I will accept the sap upstairs so I can get rid of a curse here. 
Yeah, it's slowing me down too much. I need to do better. We're getting another one here, but I had at least a bunch on this, which is nice. Here's a fortify. Hmm. Do I have a pulley claw that I want here? I can pull out the front dude, or I can start stacking some days on Fell, which is actually pretty decent. I mean, I'm never going to draw this enough, so what I should do instead is use this as an opportunity to kill an enemy. So yeah, we're going to pulley... First off, play these garbage. We're going to pulley claw out Mr. Frontman here, because he's extremely dead for that. I'm going to... Prismal Dust up front. And I'm going to take out... I mean, I could push another 120 into the boss here, so I think that's worth it. We're going to push the 120 through here. Yeah, that's just a big number. Goodbye, Horned Warrior, who's still somehow alive, actually. Never mind. He's cracked, it turns out. Yeah, Pyre Chomper is just great. Behold. HP. We love it. And then sick molting him downstairs, actually, now we swing, which is great news. I can toss a Shade Splitter at my bottom floor friend. Feeling pretty good about that, actually. I could stop a loss of a damage shield upstairs, which is pretty cool. I will do that. Yes. And then I'm going to do the same on middle. Good. Okay. We should have the pieces to be winning here. Yes. Ritual upstairs, absolutely. We're going to take the Shade Splitter here, yeah. You know, it's actually better to just face tank the 11 here. It's good to have Train Steward out, and it's good for him to swing, so I'll take it. Torch, I'm going to blast this back friend for sure. I should, okay, well, Torch middle here. Because I might kill him. We're going to rail spike downstairs and just drop that guy. And then I get this vent for free, which kills that guy. Yeah, cool. All right, we have the pieces. My bottom floor has somehow held together. We're doing okay. I could click pulley claw and just lose, which would be hilarious. Don't do that. And then I'm just going to kill this middle dude. Actually, I can save Ember by ascending him. Yeah, yeah, better. And then just shoot 80 into the boss. Cool. Hit. Do some damage to that damage shield. Seems okay to me. We should have the pieces to win here. We have enough damage shield. We have enough everything else. I'm going to put Impish Scholar upstairs. Yeah. Reasons. A lot of good reasons for that. It takes 10 armor. That's pretty good. And then so I shoot the boss again for another 110 piercing. I mean, I think this is 110 piercing. It's just so good. Sheesh. And we take the victory here. Good job. Cool. All right, that's enough. Great work. Go team. I took a little bit of, what is it, money lost, but we get it back. It's okay. Did it ever last stand here? No. Uh, we, we scale way fast enough, especially once I get the space relic here. Take space. We didn't see anything that offsets it. Yeah. We have a third apex imp. The floor scales fast enough. We're going to be okay. Look at this divine artifact. Yeah, we clicked Chain of Gems. This is worth more than the 25 gold to me right now. Although, Scorch Steel's pretty good. It's gotta be the Chain of Gems, right? Damage Shield 4, good grief. That's just, that's defense to survive into any number of scary ring 7. We go left here, strictly because I do want removals that badly. I'm gonna, ooh, a minus 2, nice. That goes into the pulley claw for sure. Nice, like that. Intrinsic here is fun as well. What do you intrinsic? I mean, I have a pl X plus three here, so we can do a lot of cheeky stuff. I'm gonna get rid of Train Steward now to improve my draws into this next combat. There's Mr. Horned Warrior cruising. I have to take this intrinsic. I'll grab the Imp in a box, actually, because this could be Pyre Chomper or a lot of other really good stuff. It could be Rage Imp. It could be Welder Helper into an Apex Imp or something, which is pretty good. I'm going to cut. Now that we have the plan of Space and Third Apex Imp, I'm going to cut Shade Splitters because they no longer tank effectively. Yes. 
The next removals I do on ring eight are gonna be more shade splitters. You may ask why not the vengeful shards because I actually effectively use that ember here. So I think I would rather have the plus one ember per turn being carried over thanks to unbroken horn. So there's that multi strike. I mean, you've got options here. I don't need these, man. What a good shop. Too bad I can't load up my friends. It's fine. We'll upgrade Wrathful to. He's just here to take hits and not die immediately. I'm probably cutting Horned Warrior on Seraph because I want to draw faster into my three Apex Imps. But he's doing great now. And seriously, go back, by the way. Go back and just run the numbers on how much this Horned Warrior has helped. Armor Emblem, don't care. It's just Pyre Wing losers. Yeah, it's he's done an excellent job here. Imp in a box. Yeah, I mean, is Welder Helper busted? Yes, absolutely. We're going to click that. Look at this. We play the man. He's got seven damage shield. Just drop in 20 rage here. It's huge. I will Prince mm, Middle. Horned Warrior Middle. Fledgling Imp in front. I want to stop the Vengeful Shard and take the damage shield upstairs. Big. Cool. We play Apex Imp upstairs. I do want to kill this Imp so he doesn't get me Ember Drained. Because that would be bad. Play the Rage in back. Shoot the Scary Man downstairs. Yes. Yeah. We take two Ember Drain here. Not great, obviously. But I have five Ember, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I take, I take even more, which is, again, not good. I can just kill this guy, never mind, and not take any. Yes, actually, that's really good. You can do better. You can do it on 70, which is zero ember. That lets me do some other cheeky stuff, right? Yeah, I do a shoot here. He's still dead, right. So I can do four damage shield and get the extra here. I can actually shade splitter here and hold on to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Prismal dust. Rail spike. Sick. And then we just vent for zeros down below. And meanwhile, mid floor doing like 200 damage to a random heavy. Pretty solid. Gale. Back friend here. It's good. I want to play the Impish Scholar, but he's going to have a million damage shield, huh? So we'll drop him downstairs. Okay, I'm going to ascend one of these lads to his death. And then I'm going to... I almost could have got this guy. If I'd had one more Ember, I could have taken him. That's funny. Instead, I'm just going to shoot this 25 by 2. It's fine. Cool. All right, we're in really good control of this combat. I am taking, sadly, two Ember Drain again, but it's fine. Man, this guy's not dying. That sucks. That's okay. That's okay. We perils on Prince because he is dying. Which lets me take the damage shield upstairs. Ooh, I don't like that. I'm going to... Hmm. Because then I take four Ember Drain, one Ember Drain, and I have zeros here. I'd rather spread them out so they tick down two per turn, right? Or three per turn. I guess I could do this on... Or I can just not take this Ember Drain and just shoot a guy. Yeah. You know what? That seems better to me. We're already winning. Don't do anything too stupid because I'm taking all this extra Ember Drain. Yep. Yep. Not ideal, honestly. Shade Splitter tank. Very good. We shoot middleman. Excellent. We're clearing it. I think we've got it, for sure. Cool. Ritual goes upstairs. We keep Mr. Morsel chilling. He lives because he's incredible. We save our ember for the next turn. And that helps a lot. So we are fine. Yeah. Easy mode. Well, not not like easy mode, but you know what I mean. 
Anyway, get him, champ. Look at this guy. He's got it. He's doing it. It's incredible. Don't click Steel Pulley Claw. It's bad. Look at him go. Horned Warrior. The absolute champion of this run. And then you ascend the boss and lose. The one nice thing, though, is my redraws are fast. <laughs> I'll say that. That's fair. Branding rate? Suboptimal with 10 health. Pirate Chomper is pretty hard to skip when you've got Unbroken Horn. Let me just tell you that. Yeah, I think he's just worth it. He, I mean, I have so many X costs, though. It's not that good. I'll skip it. I'll skip it. Branding rate's actually bad because I just can't play it enough on my Apex Imps. So we just skip them. It's fine. Ember Forge, Feast, Cruise, no way. I need to not take cards. We're okay. We have the pieces. I go left. We're duping. Yes. We're duping. We're cutting Horned Warrior. This absolute behemoth of a lad has done excellent work, but goodbye, friend. Goodbye, Shade Splitter here. Yep, that's definitely it. We'll look at the items. I mean, they give me an imp sickle. That's kind of disgusting, potentially, but also kind of maybe bad. So let's look in the middle real fast. Right. So yeah, we're good. We're good. I had to think about this, right? 25, 15 is 40, 205. Yes. Spell chain here. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to take vent plus 10 because this sweeps for 15, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's piercing 15. It's actually 16 if I play it at zero, which is good. I can get to 20 if I play it at two ember, which is not hard to do. Yeah, that's worth it. Okay. We just dupe our friend because we have no steel shop anyway. It doesn't matter. Here he is. 15 shards. Got it. Now the question then becomes, what do I do over here? Minus one into void binding. Lower impact. 20 consume into a torch. It's correct. Permafrost here is... I don't think you do this. I guess you could put it in void binding. But if they show me a holdover, we kind of pivot a little bit. I'm going to not spend that money. No holdover. Cursed. It's actually not that bad. Plus 10 goes into vent. Now this thing is just crazy sick. Good. I will take the minus ones. These provide a lot of value over time. I don't actually know where I'm going to put it. Maybe in that prismal dust? I don't know. Hammered chest plates is fine, but I don't think it's worth... That many hits on the pyre, fine. Improved firebox is pretty nuts because it makes that turn one prismal dust outrageous. But, I mean, it's already, what, four for free, pretty much? Probably more, thanks to the abandoned stave. I should take it. This is worth enough. We'll take it. I don't think it's Imsicle. We're going to spin it. Chain of Gems is definitely it. Yeah, it turns out I like damage shield, too quite a bit. And then Mask of Penumbra is not it. Minus one here just goes into this Prismal Dust. One damage shield is probably better than anything else we could do. And I actually do value cutting the last Shade Splitter here, believe it or not. Or actually, isn't Perils worse because we missed? I mean, they're both bad. Shade Splitter never does anything. Perils maybe does something with the X costs. Yeah, the Shade Splitter's worse. Okay, we've done our best. We're down to one cost on, a rather, 30 cards. We've gotten rid of all of our Shade Splitters. We're down to very as low of cards as we can do with all the duping and nonsense. The spell chain here is going to just become... Could be this void binding. I don't love that actually. I'm just gonna do that in a prismal dust. Never mind. This becomes crazy. This is like seven damage shield now, which is pretty great. Cool. We'll take it. 205 out of 100. We've pulled it off. Let's go beat up Seraph and we're good. Save the rest of my three hits there for anything that runs by. With any luck, that maybe represents, I don't know, like 50 life or something. We'll see. Rage Imp. Incredible. I ex <laughs> 12 Ember, that's pretty great. 
goes middle. Good job. Fledgling Imp up top just tanks it. I will just use this to seed him on his HP. Or rather, Rage. And then I'm just going to send it on 12 damage shield here. And a vent downstairs that kills the 15 by 3. Cool. All we have to do now is... Remember, I have Chain of Gems, so don't play the Impish Scholar like a lunatic. Cool. And then we just play a whole bunch of Imps, and this looks pretty disgusting. And we will take Impish Scholar middle. I get Torch back. You know what? I'm actually really happy about that. Because I can hit this big scary man here and get the kill and maybe work on this other guy. We're actually doing a pretty good job on that. Truly. Prince is going to die but I honestly just could not care less. <laughs> He's irrelevant. I mean, I guess I save him a little bit. He lives in unbelievably, which is pretty cool. And then we play another seven. Yeah, I mean, you of course, here we go. Seven damage shield plus three more. I think we've got it. And this top floor, you basically can just end turn to victory now. That's true. I could keep him alive. I'm not going to. I will... Hmm. Void Binding for three Ember Drain? It's good. It's worth it. We click it. Yeah, okay. We're going to shoot a bunch of enemies. I... Wow. 140 damage. I just kill this heavy. Okay. That heavy's gone. That 15 by 3 is gone. Upstairs, I could push a lot of numbers through, but I really should just use this to kill him these back lines, yeah? Yeah, what a great turn. Happy to do it. Cool. Meanwhile, the rest of this is just in good shape. We've cleared all the damage shield on the boss. He is just going to sap me into oblivion, but we have all of the pieces, and I just ascend him up now. He's going to look like an absolute buffoon. And I shoot this guy to save on two damage shield. And like 100 damage. Seems good. Yeah, he's not having a good day. That's Seraph taking 900 or something like that, which is great news. Play some Vengeful Shards. Torch Scary Guy. It's good to do it. Armor up the front. We don't play this Void Binding yet. I guess I could. What's coming up? I'd rather play these other cards, I think. Yeah, fine. We're okay either way. He should go upstairs now. It's good. I need to, yeah, just hit the guy really hard, it turns out. I don't get over 240. I do get over 240 something when I vent here. 240, yeah, we take a whole bunch of damage here. Push 1,000 through. Yeah, good job. Cool. I had to do the math on how many times we hit, and it's actually crazy. We're good. I'm gonna send out this three by guy. He, I don't want him hitting me. We just play a bunch of armor. I want to put the armor elsewhere though. 18 damage. Pop the guy downstairs then, I think. Yeah, pop that dude. Take my two ember and walk on it. Seems pretty good. With any luck, we clear this next guy, but I think we're fine either way, right? Armor up. Yeah, we have a batrillion damage here. We are fine. I will play Void Binding because it doesn't matter, and I get the vent anyway, so we're cruising. Seems good. Cool. Play some cards. Call it. We're good. Got it. Okay, so that is Seraph down. Now, the next question, of course, becomes... How do we do on Divinity? I think it's pretty much the same. I don't imagine much difference here. Yeah, I think we just freely take it, pretty much. What's in my imp in a box? You know what? Pyre Chomper's in my imp in a box. Ooh, we can do some cheeky things. I want to do a lot of Prismal Dust, obviously, but the most important thing for me here is actually making sure I carry over some Pyre Chomper value to next turn. So here's Steelworker for, or rather, Apex M4, Chain of Gems. Drop him in. Cool. Next, throw away Prince. It's fine. Whatever. 
Now next, I Pyre Chomper upstairs. He's gonna die. So I give him, I don't give him the perils, hold up. We take 18 damage shield up front, which is pretty good, it turns out. Then I perils here on the guy that's already dying and we tank the Pyre Chomper in middle and we carry over six Ember. That's a very strong opener here. We did hit both Apex Imps here. Not great. But we will get, uh, we'll stay ahead at least, which is important. I'll probably Apex Imp here and then play the other one with this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll give him the 12 because he got less. Ridiculous. What a ridiculous thing. Oh, I can give three to the back too. That's pretty good. We pop. Bottom floor, you neuter the scary guy, yeah. I just let this floor ride, it does like no damage. It does punch through a whole bunch of stuff though. I don't love that. I'll, I'll kill one guy and then kill one guy, I think. Bottom floor is already pretty much dead on arrival here. Meanwhile, top floor is just super scaling, so we're fine. Cool, here's fortify, here's fortify, here's flame, here's ritual. I will Torch to save two damage shield, that's correct. I'm gonna blast Spike's friend downstairs, cause that's also correct. Sure, we're already pushing 450 through without much forethought. I think we've got it. I saved my Vengeful Shards, play this upstairs. I, well, what am I gonna redraw off my friend? Play the Impish Scholar first, because you never know what you're going to get. It's another Torch. This works, because we do Torch, Torch middle to kill a friend, and then we pop the front line downstairs. Good. Fine. We have enough damage shield that we're going to be okay upstairs, but the most important thing is that I also finally draw Steel Pulley Claw, which is worth... We also have a whole bunch of armor, too, right? The damage shield is obviously a big part of this run, but... Just gonna do 30 damage to the bottom floor, yeah. I do want to do, I don't know, let's do 20 damage here and then send it. Seems good. Cool. That saves a lot of the incoming damage shield hits. And we should easily overflow Mr. Boss here, not a problem. Keep dazing the boss because it's good. I do think it's worth it to play this void binding. Note that I have three ember here, that's excess due to unbroken horn, which is gonna offset the ember drain, so we're chillin'. Cool. Very cool. And we get a ridiculous number of vengeful shards. We're gonna vent middle for a whole bunch. How much do I need to hit this for? It's got plus 20 on it. Not much. Play some armor in the back here. It's better. And then we just vent middle and clear this up. Good. Great. Honestly, easy mode. And now that floor is neutered as well, and we should be fine. That was the multi-strike floor, too, which is very scary normally, so. Boop, up to boop. Good, good. Play this. We'll play that. I'm going to work on back friend down there. If I'd gone at one more ember, I could have killed him, but I'm also at the point where it doesn't matter. We have enough damage shield. We have enough armor. It's, it's fine. I could technically double torch him, but I also just do not care. We ascend Mr. Boss here because I don't feel like letting them through. And then we armor up, and that's it. GG, we take these. Cool. Turns out Apex Imp is a disgustingly powerful card, right? Wow, who knew? We bent this, and it's easy mode. Great work, go team. They actually, we don't have any more damage shield, believe it or not. Wow. We actually went through it all. Unbelievable. We still had 150 life left or something like that. So really not that bad. I think our plan was pretty solid all the way through. I also, you know, I got to give it to you. This random horned warrior with some random upgrades. Actually pretty killer here. And again, he just kind of proves it once again. The unit is just good. And the truth is, I'm going to tell you, if you can do that with a horned warrior, you can do that with Animus of Will or pretty much anything that's got a baked-in multi-strike, right? He's not here. I was going to cover on him. I removed him at the end. 
he deserved the win, but honestly, the extra banner unit was just so bad that I had to get rid of it. But yeah, big shout out here to automatic rail spikes. This is like the rail spikes dream. Yeah, auto, this is it. As much as this is an apex imp run, let's just talk about this for a second. The tenon piercing 20 consume on deck for an automatic rail spikes. And then also having the Impish Scholar to immediately finish them on ring three. When I finished that, having the first Hell Pact show up, getting Abandoned Stave, I killed a 140 health enemy heavy with an automatic rail spikes. That's incredible. Obviously, Apex Imp cruised here, but these things did a great job. Just so much value there. This first Hell Pact, definitely thumbnail credit here. I mean, the Prismal Dust, the Vent, just so much value all over the place. Heck, it even did a lot of work on this fully unupgraded Mind Collapse, right? That did good job. Honestly, it was clearing enemies, so it's good stuff. The Random Perils at the end did provide enough value to be worth it. We would just play it on a unit that was dying. We had the Steel Pulley Claw, which did some sick value on the Divinity and helped out elsewhere. Pushed like an extra 400, 500 into Seraph as well. Just good stuff. Cleared some enemies. We had enough pings here that even though I didn't really have a quote unquote backline solution, you just shoot them. Just shoot everything is really the theme of the run. And it works. So awesome. Awesome. We love to see it. So heck yeah, that brings us up to 47 wins on the series. I'll let you go there. So yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.